So you purchased Ultra Viewer, the premium package, hopefully, and I thank you for going through my link. The commission is helpful. So you want to know how to set it up on client computers. I'm going to assume this is kind of like for monitoring always on connection. So I'll show you how I had to do it for my clients. So obviously you're going to go into the custom password and you're going to put your own password in there. That way it never changes. You're going to put a check mark on uh, run Ultra Viewer with Windows. We also have to make modifications to the system. So the modifications are going to include crash recovery on the case of that uh, Ultra Viewer stops working on the client side computer. So in services, you will find the Ultra Viewer services and you'll go into the properties and then you're going to click on the recovery tab. For me, I just have it restart service, restart service, restart service and restart after one minute. Next, you're going to go into task scheduler and you're going to create a bas basic task. And the reason why is if the computer reboots and it uh, comes up to that, let's finish creating your or setting up your Microsoft account, da, 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 and most people click remind me in three days, you wouldn't be able to see it with the normal default set into Ultra Viewer. But if you have the task set in, you will be able to see that. You will also see the login screen where you don't normally see that when you check that mark that says run with Windows. Obviously, give it a name for your new task. Again, you want this to load up when the computer starts. Next, obviously, you want it to start a program. And the program you want it to start in the Programs x86 folder, which is Ultra Viewer, you want it to do the Ultra Viewer service, not the desktop, because you want this to run in the background before Windows is logged into. And once again, thank you for purchasing Ultra Viewer through my link. I greatly appreciate the kickback on that. It does show up on my portal uh, as a commission sale. Um, and so, yeah, that's how I have it set up. You'll also notice in your Ultra Viewer, if you have the premium package, you can go in and do a branded on demand downloadable um, interface for Ultra Viewer. And so, like mine is yellow, it has my logo on it, my phone number on it. Um, and you could set that up and that downloads from the internet as Ultra Viewer QS, which is quick support. And um, it installs, it gives you the green progress bar that is installing and it pops up. When it pops up to the yellow screen, once you're connected to it, um, one of the things I do for clients, especially those who I'm not actively monitoring, I only fix them on demand, um, is when quick service installs, it actually puts the full blown version of Ultra Viewer in their uh, program 30 program files x36 go into the download folder grab the copy of the qs that was downloaded and put it in that ultra viewer folder and then make that as a desktop shortcut and then rename that to like like i put on mine i put computer garage remote assistance this way when they double click that the only thing they get is the one that they are used to and it only shows them their ID and their password uh, with your custom branding. It doesn't show the full version like you see on your screen. And so the only other thing I got to give you a warning about is if they have multiple screens. It will span out across your desktop or your screen. Um, if they have like four, I've got one client does, it will put all four screens uh, in one window on your desktop. So just be aware of that.